Hey, welcome back to the jungle. We're we'll be playing Belveth versus Udyr with the new skin. Check it out. So worth, so worth. The battle boss one's pretty good. This one more serious. It has splash animations on the Q. The Q is pretty loud whenever it the cooldown of it comes back up. The classic. And then check out the animation. Kind of like a splash animation against the the camps as you hit them. For the runes, we got Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, and then Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight. Also for the shards, double adaptive force. The attack speed, not too useful for Velva. I'm gonna go ahead and just not do a farm max here. Just get this red faster, get level three faster, and see if we can't gank Volibear. I know Volibear pushes pretty hard early. As Belveth, you want to get a lot of gold and XP in the early game, and one way to get some extra gold is if you kind of have a read on the lanes, or at least react to them, so this time I'm just basing it off the knowledge that I know that Volibear pushes quite a bit early. Use that E, use the health potion. Now Volibear is going to go to a ward, but as we move up here, you just have to wait a little bit, and then kind of just slime on in here. He just walks right up to the turret. God bless. God bless. Auto. Auto Q. Auto. Auto Q. Auto. And then auto W. There's the flash. We'll follow with the flash E. And that's that. Now Udyr probably wants to get into our blue side. He's pretty much on the way. So I'm going to rely on my bot lane to one, not get ganked. But then two, try to spot him out there. We'll be temporarily down in camps. But we'll see what we can do. Long sword, long sword into the bot side. Because even if Udyr gets one of these camps, it could be okay. There's his smite. Now, he doesn't have his red buff either, so I may be able to just to walk into his red side, but... Where my lanes give up prio, easier said than done. So what I'll do is my wolves and gromp. Their bot lane will have prio, so will the mid lane, so I'm not going to invade the Udyr just like that. So long that I get a lot of my camps, we can make up for that XP a little bit later. Because Udyr still has to clear quite a bit to get his level 4. But if he's level 4 on the bot side here and his lanes have prio, I don't have to fight him. We attack the volley bear, so the sooner I get back to that same lane, honestly, the better. So, so far, so good. Start off with that initial punish. And then where you go after that 3 camp gank, I know a lot of people get confused on that. You're just looking for your farm. That's all I'm trying to do here. I really could have taken the scuttle with your deer jacking off there, but here we are. If I do raptors in the top, then I can get that topside scuttle. So trying to get that farm, you just have to identify where, where it's at, where your jungle camps are, sometimes what jungle camps of the enemies you can take, and then go from there. Nice, Volibear's dead. Where I said we might be able to punish the deer, he just spent a lot of time in the bot side there. So let's see if we can't get his gromp. Moving into his blue side, I can also put down wards and that will help my team. By knowing where he's at, he is out of his mind with this one. Because now he has to successfully dive bot lane. Maybe he has an idea that I'm on the top side, but damn, that's something. There's a TP. And they don't even kill a Sona, man. Wow, that's such a bad mistake from Udyr. Thank you very much, big man. I'll be taking all of your camps. As I finish the clear, I can look to gank top lane as well. There's our level 5, and that's a very good spike for us. Let's give top lane some space. That waves. He just walks right up to the turret every time. Ooh, deer and volley bear, my man. We got a runner. There's the level 6. He's just dead. Oh, I guess I'll do my Krugs. Alrighty, so now, as I finish these, we want to recall as fast as possible. The turn is done once we finish these. Don't have to help the Irelia. Check. Nothing happened in there. We got a lot of gold to spend. Let's get back to these respawn blue side camps. And then probably farm towards those void grubs. I'm going to hit level 6 pretty soon. And then I can get my empowered form from those. Alrighty, we get recurve bow and a dagger. It gives us 25% attack speed and that 15 on hit damage. That will increase our clear speed quite a bit. The daggers always increase the clear speed. Lowers the Q cooldown, gives you more smacks. More smacks, more jungle pet hits. 
They might do Dragon here, and that's okay. My bottling's not in position. Our goal remains the same. Get those resources, but now with some items, it speeds up the process a little bit. And then I guess some anti-goals would be uh, we don't want to die. The only way we die is by committing to really bad plays. Over committing to stupid stuff. The Talia wants help here. Her lane is frozen. But she has flash and phase rush. They can't gank her. Don't believe her lies. Keep farming. Do not random interrupt the clear. I'll interrupt the clear when I see something specific. When the enemy commits. Because right now I have some guarantees. All those... All those camps leading up to this, this respawn scuttle, and maybe the void grubs. It'd be nice if I had a ward here. But there's no notification on the dragon yet. That makes me think that Udir just reset. There's the dragon. Took him long enough. Let's gank top first. This guy walks into the turret for the 50th time. I can't even gank top. He dies so fast. Maybe it's a strategy. Don't waste any time, Bob, to those Void Grubs. Listen, Talia, if you wanted help, you shouldn't have gotten chunked by an Urgot. Rest in peace down there, but I'm rich, man. That Udyr is stuck level 5 into his blue side. He's going to find my blue buff, but I'm going to get three of his camps. Here's some quick mass. Three is better than one. Oh yeah, here's what the empowered form looks like on the, on the ulti. You're big and red. Like the soda. At least one guy in the comments is like, Big Red mentioned. Not skipping any of the camps until I have some confirmation here. So we're farming, we're farming, right? Action is coming. We're doing all this to get super strong. And if we are super strong, then we can contend with the enemy. And really force some plays here. This Lux is probably looking for a flank, honestly. Give him some space, but it's definitely weird. Any noobs in here? Oh, I see, I see. Uh-huh. This guy's on the run. Nice. Slea so doesn't have TP, so I'm just going to shove this wave. Make sure where Urgot has to deal with it and then not get a reset off. 1400 till the Kraken Slayer, so we'll just stay until then. Let's check the jungle real quick. No noobs in here. I want to use a smite on the Gromp for the blue. Nice, there's the Kraken Slayer. Level 8 to level 6. Check. 81 CS. Check. Yeah, I eat quite a bit. How could you tell? Step 1 to getting big. Step 1. Eat. So now with the Kraken Slayer, that gives us 50 AD, 40% attack speed. 7% movement speed in that third hit passive. Oh. oh, barely lives. The volley bear, my man. Always sticking around a little bit too long. <laughs> he just, he loves that turret. Um, since this spawns the funny minions, I have to keep pushing. Do I? There's only two of them. Into the river. See if there's a scuttle crab and Udir. And then we have the option of getting his blue side camps as well. The Kraken Slayer greatly increases our damage, so our clear speed, but also our fighting power. Udir into that balling for the 50th time here. Instantly dies. Nice. Hello. Mac. Flash. Phew. Thank god it's meatball champs. 
Why would they check the jungle? Guys, it's an Udir's jungle. Your meatballs. Come on. Play for your lane. Back to my games. Since the wave doesn't crash, I don't have to go there yet. But we don't want Volibear free hitting the turret. For all of his tomfoolery, he does deal good damage to it. Get away from that thing. Q, pop, pop, Q, pop, W. Pop, pop, Q, pop. That's a normal guy right there. The boss? I haven't heard of him. Damn, we're level 10 already. The Void Grubs are up. I know that Udir will be playing on the top... Whoops. On the top side. At least you would think he would. And there he is in the bot lane. He doesn't like farm, that's for sure. Oh. Watch out for Urgot ulti. I already bot lane. That's the last play that you have to endure. Boom. With the Void Grubs being taken here. That will greatly increase our power. Now we're going to stay up the map. Volibear is going to be returning to lane, but he doesn't have a turret anymore. If you look closely, he doesn't have a turret. <laughs> Q, auto, 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 auto. Now save this last Q for over the wall. Okay, or to follow him. Going to stun me. It's okay. Pop, 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 pop. Don't get hit by Urgot. Pop Q, pop, pop, pop E. You know, he's a big fellow, so it takes some time, but we got it done. Let's clean up our Raptors and then reset. Since we did those Void Grubs, we have our Empowered Form again. So, I mean, I'm double Udir CS at this point. Now it's just a matter of eating the whole map alive. Let's see, Merc Treads um, into the Stride Breaker here. Phage, Longsword. And then get a control word. We're going to start moving into the enemy jungle quite a bit. With our empowered form, it lets us get over walls. And then where we're so strong, we can just strictly move up the map. The enemy is really doomed now. Still doing my camps first. We got a stride breaker to get to, but we are on the fast track to the mid game here. And simply put, man, you farm like this and then you're not stopped and you play it correctly, then... You're always going to put yourself in a super strong position come mid-game. Me farm, you so good. Now instead of walking that way into their jungle, we're going to wait right here and then use these Qs to get over the walls. And now, if the enemy bot lane moves up the lane here, then we can try to attack them. <laughs> or a new gear. Smite. Auto Q. Pop, pop, Q, pop. <laughs> An Udir with flash. W. Nice, Q, auto E. Ulti. Bong. Pop, pop, pop. Stealing as much damage as I can. Pop. Oh, the Kraken Slayer damage. Auto W. Oh, pop, Q. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we farm so much, Bob. They didn't believe in us. But John Fullclear did. John Fullclear did. All the noobs are dead. Now what? You guessed it. Go play for an objective. We'll start off with this turret. Those six Void Grubs will be helping us out. And then we'll just walk it back. Look at the minimap. Where, where's the next objective? No cheating. That's right. The Rift Herald. Start with the turrets and then move it back. You want to unleash all your damage at the start of this Rift Herald. So that it does that swing and you don't get autoed by it. And then you don't get the damage reduction. Boom. Alrighty, time to reset. Spin that gold and do it all over again. Stride Breaker and to the top side. Stride Breaker giving us 50 AD, 30% attack speed, and 450 HP. With that active, that gives us a slow on the enemy and extra movement speed. So now as these plays are happening, we have more movement speed, more damage, etc, etc. Q! Pop, pop, Q, pop. Let's 
go ahead and shove out this top lane. We still have that empowered form with the 180 seconds on it, so we'll spawn the empowered minions. So now that we're strong, it's just all about collecting the, the noobs on the map here. Lux, I love you. I'm gonna have to kill you, sorry. Oh, not walking into me? Understandable. QW. Oh, whoops. Pop Q. Crash the wave, see what damage we can get. Just drop the Rift Herald here. Knock him up. <laughs> oh, she missed the shove. We just have to take the turret. Nice DP. Pop, pop, Q, E. I mean, I knew he would kill Volley Bear. It's just... I'm surprised how fast the Udyr died as well. Back it up. Put it in reverse, tear it. Don't get hit by that Urgot ult. I can kill them. Just give me a sec. I have to dodge the flip. Lux has to spend her abilities. There's the Q. There's the E. Auto Q. Q. Nice. Q. W. I guess Q strike breaker E. Well, that didn't work. A little bit of dodge everything and to die. It's that shotgun damage, 540. Since I queued towards uh, where he had the shell thing, I'm pretty sure that that's what does it. Right, I don't have any armor, that makes sense. It definitely feels weird to skip like a wit's end, but you know, Death's Dance is pretty beast here. Caitlyn and Urgot are their only champions. Okie doke, Steel Sigil, Longsword. Oh yeah, I guess that's how you spend Belveth's Qs. Like, whenever you're not using them for damage, you're using them neutrally. If you dodge enemy spells with them, holy schmoly. And you got four of them, so two forward, two backwards. As these team fights happen, we don't have to be involved. Q, auto, auto, Q. Noob down. I really has the flank here as well, so all we have to do is set him up. Dodge some abilities like that. And then move right into him. Oh god. Q W. Pop 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 pop. pop. Wonder where that Kalen went. And then right back to that dragon. We do these plays because the enemy is just too far forward. Get a punish on them, and then we take the objective for it. And then afterwards we're gonna farm. And then reset and do it all over again. Where's the farm at? You guessed it. Give me that Krug. If they're sending all these people topside like this, I'll waste a little bit of time here. Oh, this is warded. Oops. Use Stride Breaker, Auto W. Pop, 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 E. Nice. Oh, that shove? Yeah, a bit much. Pop, pop, Q, pop, 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 Q. I can take a little bit of damage, but... Just the Void Grubs hitting this bad boy. We don't have to do the Baron, guys. Jin's Baron is super slow. Me personally, I'll be getting my third item. It's super consistent. You do that Baron, it's a chance. I'll pass. So now we got our level 13. We are just massively accelerating into the, into the mid game here. And I'm just farming until my allies are back on the map. Once they're back on the map, then we can play for that Baron. Since I don't have the empowered form, I'm not super interested in a split push either. Oh, Lux, we have a question. Are you brave? Are you a brave guy. Sorty, sorty. Getting control over this area. Nice. 
I have a good flank right here. Q stride. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, whoops. Use that E for the damage reduction. Palin, stop placing those things. You know I like to eat them. Whoa, a TP. Okay, it's not a champion. Just a visual effect right here. 12 deaths on that big guy. The flash onto the Kalen's a bit weird, guys. Now is the time for the Baron. They got an Urgot push in top. Hurry it up. If I had to guess, Udir is taking my blue side camps. That's fine. Oh, there he is. Udir's like, hold on, let me farm. I can catch up. His walk bot lane maneuver didn't work seven times in a row. Long. Now it's time to split push. We got that empowered form and we got super good items. No one can stop me. Not even Urgot. Come on, not even Urgot with his funny stats. Oh, wow. The funny minions look so... Oh, hello. Pop, pop, pop. W. Q, strike. Pop, 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 pop. E. Took me a while. Let's heal off the camps a little bit. Hi, guys. Ow. And then we want to stay in the side lane here. I don't have to fully commit. All I have to do is exist up here. And then I can threaten to hit the inhib or push the lanes. But pay attention to where the enemy is at here. I didn't use my E. Guys, I got the inhib. QW. She's skinny. What can I say? Even Caitlyn's on Ozempic. Swap to mid lane here. We got that top lane inhib. Although they seemingly won that play. Q. I don't know. What is going on down there? Guess we'll just finish off the mid inhib. Oh shit, mama. I got a whole lot of minions. Guys, I'm hitting your turret. Q, strike, W. Oh, fuck. Q, ulti. Auto Q, pop, pop, pop. Not even Urgot. Who's with me? Oh my god, I'm dead. The death stance. <laughs> the death stance damage coming in on me. Well, we tanked 3,900. Man, I didn't flash the Urgot flip. That's the price I pay. The main deal there, we're pushing with the Baron, and then we... You never have to attempt these dives. The slower you play, it always... Is basically always the better, because... The waves just keep coming and coming, so... You can lightly do a play and lightly do a play, and then whittle away at the turret, but... Yeah, we took a dive. Yeah, it didn't work, so what? The enemy's gonna get dragon. Oh no! Now with two inhibs down and half, less than half HP on this mid turret, I'm level 15. I'm gonna be level 16. We don't have to stop to farm anything. We're not getting any more items. We're not getting any more levels. Just push down and end the game. And hurry it up. If you spend your time doing anything else, it's a mistake. So I get that level 16 and off we go. Run it down, boys. As God intended. Aurelia's starting the party. Volibear with his 14th to death. Hot dog, he can almost get his driver's license. Now I'm going to flank this Caitlyn right here. Nice, there's both her abilities, and as you can see, she can't get involved in the fight. All because I'm zoning her, I'll tell you what. Huge stride W. Pop, pop, Q, pop, 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 E. Oh, shit. Okay, nice. We dodged it. That was the flash auto of all time there from Lux. GG, final score 14, 2, and 4.
You might think that early game's slow, but I'll tell you what's slower is playing out a game in which you you die three times in the early game and then there's no gameplay. Alrighty. And dude, look at the splash art of the skin. I swear, it's like so low quality, but then the end game is so beast. It looks like that StarCraft lady. Anyways, that puts us at Masters, 210 LP. Final damage dealt, 24,000, with Conqueror healing us 1,000. And Coupe de Gras dealing 700. Alrighty. Espel Veth, I don't think the nerfs do anything, personally. Um, let me know how you feel about them. My only suspicion is that the attack range nerf is so that she takes more damage on her early clear if you're a noob. That's how it feels. Because I don't feel it at all when I'm fighting. That's because you don't fight, you just farm. Now I'm hearing you, Bob. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next game. Alrighty, welcome back to jungle. Oh, new skin. Same enemy award. Check it out. I really like this skin. Playing with it too, the Q has a cool animation. It has a, a noise on the Q. That's my main complaint with the cosmic skin. I feel like I'm just doing nothing. You feel the auto attacks, and you feel the Q with this one. That's very important for me as Velvet. That's where all my fun comes from, so. Alrighty, we're playing into Gwyn, and my lanes are very slow. I'm not sure how useful this video will be. I'm playing at much higher MMR than usual. This is basically Grandmaster, Challenger, MMR, and usually I'm recording in like D2 and whatnot, because the games are more realistic, let's be real. More realistic to a average Bob in the jungle. So, in this game, we have a lot of scaling lanes. Cassid and Vladimir. Vayne, Sona, literally every single lane, huh? So we're going to be playing super, super standard and slow. Doing that farm max. And then reacting and helping. Quote, helping our lanes for once. And with that, we don't have to take any big risk. And it puts an onus on the enemy to get anything done. And the fundamentals become super, super, super important. Whereas big, random, funny punishes and getting your gabillion kills isn't as useful. Well, Diana's ruined her life here, so let's pay her a visit. The Gwyn is level 3 as well, so this gives me options. I could invade the Gwyn or try to kill that Diana. I think I'm going to go for the Gwyn. She used her dash, so just move on in here. And since we have Smite, we also win the red buff. Health Potion. And then we're going to ward, Q, flash on top of her, auto, auto Q, moving, W, Q, E, Q, auto. Well, that took me a little bit longer than expected, but it works. Diana gets a kill though, so that's no good. I'll get the full, full recurve bow, sweeper and a control ward, and back to the camps here. Well, we got the punish off, but getting the sums out of the Gwyn isn't as useful as attacking the laners. The Gwen still has to go back to her red buff, so I'm surprised we haven't seen her right there. So what I'll do is do my scuttle crab here, and then I pretty much have to defend my red side camps, because if Gwen resets to the bot side there, then I'm gonna wish that I was there. Pink. Alrighty, back to my raptors. I'll show me. There she is. So then with Gwen on the top side, I could attack her blue side camps and get this scuttle as well. Whereas she doesn't have the information yet to attack my blue side camps. Okie doke. We want to do these camps as fast as possible too. Well, naturally, I I could look to attack the her blue side, but nope. Bot lane reset. Back to my camps. I mean, this works. As we go back to our full clear, since we did a three camp gank, we'll hit level five. This puts Gwyn in a spot too where she's not going to be hitting level 6 as fast as she would be normally on a regular full clear. So, although it was a kind of whatever play, it slows down her ramp potential. Because Gwyn's level 6 is just a whole lot more impactful than our level 6. All the meanwhile, the lanes are farming. They're all very, very safe, so that's good for us. And we'll just keep farming. My goal is to hit level 5, and then be in the river, and kind of react to whatever happens. Yep. 
So they nerfed Belves range, which is kind of whatever. The only time I feel the range nerf is when I'm doing the camps. And one thing I think it does, I think it makes you take more damage whenever you're doing the camps. Because it's a bit harder to pull the camps from one to another. Because you have to do that auto attack and then... And then... It doesn't really, like, give you the extra movement that you're looking for. Oh, super close top lane. Alrighty, well that really lines me up here. Into the top lane we go. Hi, Gwen. Cassiopeia is just out of mana. Aatrox is going to heal quite a bit, so I wouldn't imagine that I have a kill. We'll just clean up the CS. Auto Q, Auto E. If I can hold the wave right there, that's not too bad. Try to dodge out on Aatrox's abilities here, because you have to assume that Gwen is behind them. There's the dodge, and then my E is coming up too. Q, W. And then they have position on those Void Grubs as well, so the sooner that I reset, the better. Back to the bot side. One lane's gonna have to die whenever you have three scaling lanes, so... Not the end of the world. Wreck Trick, a Dagger, and to the bot side. Wreck Trick gives us 20 AD and some extra movement speed. The movement speed's pretty good. Just as for moving from camp to camp to camp. Come on, one lane dies, not two. And Diana, Q. Moving from camp to camp and from spot to spot here. Skipping my camps here to try to punish the Diana. Nice, Diana sticks around. Get as far behind as I can and let's move it in there. Q. W. Don't take the kill. I had a feeling that she would stay. And now we can just go back to the camps and farm them up. Although, Gwen gets that first set of the Void Grubs. It's okay. It's okay because the second ones are a bit more valuable. Especially when we're playing for the farm here. And then, if we can't contest the objective because Top died, that's okay too. Go ahead and crash this wave. Dive Ezreal, sorry, I got camps to do. Hope you understand. Bob, more than ever, like, farming these camps are so important. It's, like, to a point where it annoys me. Mr. John Fullclear himself. It feels like if you attempt to play and then you lose it, there goes the whole game. Especially giving Belvest a ramp, what's the deal? My ADC's dead, so what? There goes the dragon. Since ADC dies. So long that we keep farming. Put ourselves in an okay spot. I would cover bot lane, but they already died. It would take too much of my time. And I would take away from mid and then top lane as well. Although top lane's died twice, this Cassiopeia is a weird champion. She can bring it back, I know that. Use our E early so that it's up again. But also trying to kill the camp pretty fast. And let's lane, lane gank to the top lane here. So once our camps are done, that's when I'm looking for a play. Since I were here top lane and the waves pushing back towards Cassiopeia gives me an opportunity. Cassiopeia can kind of stonewall this holding the wave and then Aatrox has to push. Whereas if I did a play mid lane, shebang, there would have been three people there. Amazing. Oh, don't push him into me. We're waiting for Aatrox abilities. There's a Q. There's a dash. Q, W. Schmack, schmack you, schmack, schmack you, schmack. Boom. Nice. And there's that little bit of juice, and just like that, so simply, so easily, it's like we won the whole game. Because I have more CS than the enemy, I have a higher level, and I have my item spike. Let's get a Null Magic Mantle as well. 
gives us such good defense against everyone but like Aatrox into the Merc Shreds. Alrighty, so with the Kraken Slayer, this gives us 50 AD, 40% attack speed, and then 7% movement speed with that extra damage every three hits. That extra damage when the enemy's lower too with the third hit passive deals quite a bit. You want to build a lot of attack speed on Velvet to utilize that. Another ward from Mr. Blitzcrank there. So now as I'm farming the camps, I farm them so much faster. So the exact same rotation that we've been doing here is just going to get faster and faster for us on Belveth. And then it's up to the enemy to get something going in the meantime. So my farm max that helps me gank basically any lane has now bared some fruit. And with that, we just speed it up, speed it up again and again. Top lane doesn't have cryo, so I'm not even concerned with the Void Grubs. Just keeping an eye on the lanes. My main priority here just being this farm. The farm into a play, into an objective. Just in peace bot lane, but with Gwen showing bot, nice, I can get the Void Grubs. Not skipping a single camp. Although Gwen shows there, I don't immediately have to go there. She can't teleport from bot lane to top lane. I swear the skin is so loud though, holy shit. Oh, no, oh, Aatrox took one, I see. I'm gonna delay killing these so I can keep the form for a little bit longer. Get them both low. Use that E. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Vladimir dead. Maybe I get lucky here, avoid Gwen's vision. Ay, yeah, yeah, and then get onto Diana. Yeah, Diana's long gone, eh? They did get the shutdown on the enemy bot lane, so that's not too bad. Let's just reset. We did our turn, we cleared up. There was really no play for us after those void grubs, and that's that. Get our boots and then into the stride breaker here. I'll get the ruby crystal first. So I have some tankiness as we're entering the mid game here. I have a lot of carry champions on my team, so I'd rather have some HP as I go. It's the same reason that we ran the conquer. These fights are going to last a long time, and it's better just to be able to take a single extra hit than it would be to have extra damage myself. With the void grubs, we got the empowered form, so we keep that for 180 seconds. And now I can use that to get over walls as well. Let's assume that all these bushes are warded on the bot side. So even though that Ezreal's pushing, we're going to take the long way around. And then save our cues as we use the flank. So that we can follow him as he tries to get away. So just walk right into him here. I dare you. Smite. Auto. Q. Oh. And then Q over that wall. Q over that wall. W. Nice. Auto Q. Pop. 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 pop Q. Pop. E. Ulti. Oh, I'll see you later. <laughs> Four champions. Hey, you guys were just topside, no? Okay. Well, I'll vein with the outplay. I mean, they got kills, but it's honestly a lot invested by them. We just respawn and we're right back on the map. Get that phage, that'll give us a little bit more HP. AD, and then movement speed as we hit the enemy. It sucks that we have no vision, that's for sure. And somehow Vladimir died as his laner wasn't even there. Oh, solo lanes. Well, me and Vayne, that's, that's who we got here. On a team of like five carries. So no red buff. So no raptor. Well, listen. I'm at least getting my wolves and gromp, okay? And then as they do that dragon, we'll get the notification and we can go into the Gwen's red side. <laughs> or we can just walk through the dragon if she's that low. Oh, Vayne the man. Because if we can get this dragon, it really slows down the enemy's ramp. So that's very nice for us. It's going to be too hard for them to contest where they just spent all their ultis and all their time. Yeah, that's Blitzcrank's ward, but like, it's okay. It's fine. So long that no one else is with him. Then 
going right back to my camps here. Prioritizing that farm first. Nice, bot lane one. We can do this, Vayne. We can have a great time. Level 11, I don't have many camps up here. So now, I have a lot of time to play with. Q. Q, smite. Pop Q, pop, pop, W. Pop Q, pop, 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 E. Q. Run. Flash. <laughs> okay. And let's reset. Get my HP and go to topside. The Diana's super stationary, super bad mid laner, so... She was so far up the lane, I was like, let's pay her a visit. Dagger, longsword, to the top side. Luckily we have these base gates now too, that will just speed up the entire farming process as we go. Building Stridebreaker second, it's just super good stats for us. Well, I'm skipping my camps, that Cassiopeia is just too far forward. You don't want to quote, help your allies when they're that far forward. Although this Rift Herald is up, it needs to be earned, so we're going to have to win a play before we look for it. Both Frank and Ezra are going to stay under turrets, so I can't help with mid lane play until there's multiple people grouped up, so back to the camps. 134 CS. The most on my team besides Vayne the man, so... And the reason we farm so much in that early game is for this point coming up. A whole lot of un... Like, you can't be defeated, basically. Oh, so there's the fight. Now we move. And they're instantly dead. Good blitz hook. Phew. Schmack. <laughs> QW. Hop. It's annoying because Gwen's gonna probably take my raptors. QE. Well, that didn't work. Alrighty. Uh, let's not reset. Let's just go right to the Rift Herald itself. The enemy's spending too much time on the bot side, so this will potentially be my punish. Aatrox had warding trinkets. Let's see. Nice. No wards. Yeah, of course. Pop, pop, pop. Run. Blitzcrane's gonna come check this out, but find nothing. Maybe I can have a top play in the meantime. Oh, we got Aatrox's ulti. And now we're just going to lane gank again. We have nothing else to get back to in terms of our camps. Oh god. Pop, pop, Q, pop. The Cassiopeia had been an ulti. We were like in a do or die situation and he didn't ulti. Alright. Bob, the lanes are pretty disappointing. I really hate when I play the farm style and then the laners suck and die. Got my Chia mat. I got my dagger. The components really don't matter. That's the problem with uh, not getting any juice there. We need an entirely completed item. Rest in peace, solo laner, but did I expect anything else? No. Any noobs in this push? Vayne doesn't have ulti, so that's that. Down to FF. The solo lanes are very, very bad. It's going to take us very long to scale. The best I can do is just try to fight with the Vayne. Damn, if Cassiopeia had HP, then we could just do the Baron. 
We're definitely conceding that dragon. You can still attempt this, it's just a bit much. Just moving on in here. Pew. Pew. And pew. Pop, pop, W. Pop, pop, Q. Pop, pop, Q. That's our play, so let's go ahead and crash this wave. Oh, I have Blink. Hi, guys. Oh, and follow him. Why? Died to Sona. Back in there, hold on. Nice. Q, pop, pop, W. Oh, tanking, 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 tanking. Nice. The Gwyn is still alive and everyone on their team respawns, so... I'm not really feeling this Baron so much. One thing's for sure, we're gonna have to risk it for the biscuits, so here we are. Yes, Vayne and Cassiopeia, very balanced. Falling Let's get the hell out of here. Ouchie, mama. Nice. Get some magic resist and we are in business. We still have to rinse all the camps, but we're going to do it so fast now. Stridebreaker gives us 50 AD, 30% attack speed, 450 HP, and then a lot of AD. Oh. Mr. Aatrox, it's time to die. You, Stridebreaker. Pop, pop, smite. Pop, 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 W. Pop, 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 Q. Pop, pop, Q. Can't really follow. There's too many people behind her, but we got Gwen Zolti, so that's pretty good. Watch how fast we clear the camps. <clears throat> Mom Belveth, we can win this one. Looking weird, looking weird. It's almost like a distorted chroma of the base skin. Kill all of the camps, Bob. I need that level 15. Whoa, oh, don't get flanked. Come on, easy counterplay right here. Ooh. Oh, my best bet is probably to side lane now. It's so whack. They're just going to follow the vein top. I can't follow the play from bot lane to top lane. At least I can have this cross map play. Holy moly. And there goes the Baron buff, boys. Push, 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 push. Okay. Oh, so no camps? You can look for a fight here. Everyone's going to be respawning. We got the wits in. Get our cloth armor. Someday. Q. Q. Stride breaker. Q. Pop. Pop. W. Pop. 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 E. Pop. 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 Ulti. My Qs are coming up, so I'll be able to follow here. Pop. 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 Q. Pop. Nice. And that is kind of adios to them, man. Let's rinse all of Gwen's jungle. <laughs> Cassiopeia is like, yes, I'm getting carried. Because they overstayed, man, and we got all that juice from sidelining. Because we farmed so much in the early game, Bob, I tell you what. Oh, what the hell? QW. Okay, good enough. We don't have minions, though. And I want to continue to rinse this guy's jungle. Nice. Not gonna stick around for that Gromp. Q. 
you over the wall, and then we'll take this. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Call it a day. Farmer camps and reset. Vayne is topside. And this dragon doesn't matter so much. We all want to spend our time farming, not fighting. All scaling champions, enemy needs to win, so... It's totally fine to give that dragon, give the play, and go from there. Aatrox doesn't want to walk into me. Understandable. Right. So I could go Death Stance or I can go Terminus. Both are pretty good options. Terminus would give me more damage. Death Stance would give me more survivability. Hmm. I think I'll go with Terminus this time. I feel like I'm the carry. With the seven kills and all the CS and, you know, the shutdown and all that. Wow, they haven't done Dragon yet. Ulti? This is a good start to the fight. Q. Q. Strike breaker smite. Q. Bop, 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 Q. Nice. I'm gonna go top lane now. Pushing these two lanes. They only have Diana and Ezreal, so... Probably won't be able to stop us. Push, push, push. I still have that empowered form from Baron. Holy moly. Nice. Diana's mid, too. But mind if I do. Make sure to kill that wave. You spawn so many minions and then hit the inhib. Just like that. Hmm. Knock me up. It's okay. Pop, 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 Q. Q, W. Nice. Got one base turret. I'll take that inhib and let's get the hell out of here. Don't play for Dragon, please. Play for Baron. I'm gonna reset, but that's my form, and now I gotta get my Terminus and get on the map quick. So we had the lead, we push it, pushing into them, and then play it the best we can. Cloth Armor to the top side. Oh, skipping my camps. No. No. Well, we might as well push mid rather than fighting. Sorry, sorry. We're gonna have to follow the play here. There's no great options. Okay, noob alert. Diana's giving us a chance here. I'm gonna try to steal the Baron now. Wish me luck. Ah, close. It's always worth a chance, man. It's always worth a chance. Because if they have Baron buff, it's so hard to push into their base. It takes so long. We had two dead, so not that bad. Death Dance will be our last item, but I guess I'll get Elixir since I can afford it. Game's been going so fast, man. Terminus basically gives you that late game scaling item. If it, it's like your fourth, uh, your fourth slot item that gives you scaling. So think of like Black Cleaver, Last Whisper. That's what Terminus is for on hit champions. So it's going to empower our Wits End, our Kraken Slayer, and then even the attack speed we get from the Stride Breaker. Both as passive dealing true damage as you hit them once you're level six, and then just in general your auto attacks are dealing a lot of physical damage. So. Having that both armor and magic pin is super, super good and makes your DPS just go to another level. So the enemy has Baron. I want to get level 18 here and then just be grouped up with my team since I don't have form. And we're not... Nothing special is happening. But where the enemy has Baron, they'll probably be looking to push one of the lanes and that will give us an opportunity to fight. So I want to be up the map, paying attention to wh what's happening on the mini-map, and then reacting accordingly. Because there's no, like, set play here in the late game. The further up the map I can be, but you don't want to go too deep in the enemy jungle. Especially if you're alone. Whoa, Nelly! There's a lot of guys right there.
They totally back off from this area. We got the level 18, but we're definitely not sieging them down there. If we're wasting the enemy's time, it's okay. My allies are still scaling, although I'm level 18. So, if nothing happens on this turn, that just wastes their Baron buff, and that's okay. But I'm going to stay up the map here. Although we're not doing anything, I'm just in position and then ready to react. If nothing happens, that's fine. Don't be on top of me, guys. I'm the surprise factor. Wow, no one's showing. No one on the top wave, no one here. Oh, there you go. There we go. W. Q. Bop, 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 bop. And we random get a kill. Let's go. I think in the top lane. The Satrox is the one furthest up. Alright, he knocked me up. It's fine. Now we have these pushing lanes, and I'm almost certain their Baron expired. Don't have to do anything crazy. Just walk it in. If we crash these two super minion waves, maybe we can get the turret. W! Nice. Hit the turret. Hit the Nexus. Alrighty, GG. Final score, 8, 4, and 6. Terminus dealing 100, Whitson dealing 12, and Kraken Slayer dealing 3k. <laughs> Both my soul lanes are like, lol, we won. It's North America, baby. We got the late game. Alright, that puts us at Masters. 234 LP. A hard-earned win. Final damage dealt. 35,000. Oh, wait. That was vain. Where am I? Final damage dealt. 1,900. Yippee. Look at me go. I carried, I promise. Alrighty. That's Belveth. With the attack range nerf. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. No problem. What, where Belveth runs into problems nowadays is just not staying on that consistent clear. Because even if you get early game lead, I swear, it's just better to farm, 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 farm like one play. And then you win. So, yep. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. I'd recommend getting the new skin too. But yeah, alrighty. See you in the next one. Peace. Alrighty, welcome back to jungle. Check out the new skin. It looks even better in form too. There's like a lot to it. The Q has a sound, the E has a pretty good sound. I think it just looks cool too. Good colors. Makes me feel like I'm like, like a Minecraft mod sort of boss. We're playing into Ivern. I would say this matchup's pretty easy. Belveth Q, you can dodge Ivern's Q, and if you don't, well, you're a noob. We're doing a pretty standard jungle clear here. Every single time I abridge the clear, I just run into trouble. We're on the patch 14 point, uh... 13? No, 14.14, 14, in which Belveth had her auto attack range reduced. And does it matter? I don't think so. Is it lame? Yeah. The only time I really feel it is when I'm doing the jungle camps. I can't pull the camps from one to the other. I just kind of stand here and hit, you know? And then after I'm done with the camp, that's when I move. Give me more power to that blue smite. Since we're against Ivern, we're going that blue smite as well. And other than that, the basics remain true on the on Belveth here. Our jungle path can be a full clear. It can be a far max. It can be a uh, three camp gank. We have a lot of options. I don't really see anything here for my three camp gank, so I suppose I just keep farming. Ivern clears pretty quickly too, and it, his clear is super weird because he marks the camp and then leaves it and then comes back to it so it's not super easy to invade him that e looks so cool so instead of doing all that i'll just clear my camps here if nothing else then i can return to my raptors too don't have to make anything special happen not with these lanes and then in general where we're playing at higher mmr <laughs> things can be super slow or super fast it's literally one or the other schmack w Whoa. Guys, give me a second. 
So then in high elo, if I'm clearing my camps here, I can be like, wow, my pike trolled me. He went in before I was there. Whereas in lower elo, it's like, well, you should have reacted faster. Pink. Oh, Q, run. Q. So long that we dodge that Q, then we're good to go here. My mid lane doesn't have prio, but Thresh isn't there, so. Q, W. Oh. And like I said, even if we don't have anything, we still have these Raptors to get to. If I try to take a 2v2 into mid lane too, I don't have items. If Zed is that much HP, we don't stand a chance. And since we won't be getting kills, well, we won't be showing up. As Belveth, you have to view yourself as the noob Punisher. Oh god. At least Silas has TP, but Zed's gonna try to crash this wave and doesn't have his shadow. So now's an opportunity to punish. Move it on in here. Q. Q. And another Q. Auto. Auto. Stay on him with these autos in the red buff. Flash. And then W. Nice. Auto Q. Auto. Auto Q. E. Takes quite a bit to kill someone nowadays. And since I'm here, let's try to flank that bot lane. We've already skipped our Krug, so let's make use of our time and our resources. There goes my bot lane. Guys, I'm coming. Uh-huh. Wish me luck. I can do it. Ah! Oh. Q. Q. Auto. Q. Give it a second. Dodge that. Back in. E. Nice. Oh, I needed my team's help, but... Teamwork makes the dream work this time. I knew I was biting off more than I could chew, too. You gotta stop doing that. Recurve bow, longsword, longsword. Swap to the sweeper, get the control ward to the bot side here. My wolves will give me level 5, so although I've skipped my camps, it's okay. He's fine. We're still going to hit that level 5, and with that level 5, we'll be playing on tempo. And I'm pretty much up tempo. Since I have this recurve and two longswords, we're going to be clearing faster, and we deal pretty good damage. So, let's get on the map here. Kill these camps. It's such a big difference to have items versus not on Belveth. That's why that first recall is so important. If you get juice, you get some big stuff like a recurve bow. If you get no juice, well, it's better to be on the map with two long swords at the very least than nothing. If you're not resetting for two long swords or you're dying before you get two long swords, that's a good place to start into the river. Mr. Zed, you have killed my laner. It is only fair that you let me kill you. Ding, ding. Q, and then his shadow's gonna be up, so. So long that we delay his recall, we still have chances here. We have Ornolti and we have Silas. If I play the fight slow, then I have pretty good chances here. Q, 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 nice. That's Rumble Ulti down, let's do this, boys. Nice, W, auto, Q, auto, Q, E. You gotta use those Belveth Qs to dodge abilities, and that is the easiest potential I can ever show of that one. Yeah, Zooks. I literally got lucky with the Ivern just missing it on me flat out. Don't kill my ADC, I need that guy. Let's take my reward. Nice, one for one at least. It sucks that Pike random roamed to not even be involved. I'm gonna finish this second Void Grub with my E. And then use the Smite for the last one here. Last one's gonna take me a long time. Fun. I don't wanna play top side, so I'm gonna do my red side camps and then reset. Now's the time to farm. We got our level six, check. We just did our play, check. Yeah, Zooks. What to do, what to do. Well, at the very least, I get a wave here. Q. Oh, you gotta hold this wave or Silas's game is probably over. This is a time waster, but whatever. But yeah, so with Belveth, like, the bigger nerfs were the ones that happened before. The nerfs to her Q, her E. The Kraken Slayer change. These were way more impactful than what this auto attack nerf is. The auto attack range. 25 range off that auto attack. Like, we don't care.
where Belvestris really doesn't stick in the meta right now is that double ADC meta mid lane. Mages just beat her in the jungle in general. You can't really keep up with clear speed unless you get an invade into their jungle, which is possible. And higher MMRs though, good luck. I'm on an overstay here, but Orn has his ulti coming up and Rumble is overheated now. Pew. Wait, wait, wait. Q, auto E. Q, W. Auto Q, auto. Takes quite a bit to kill him nowadays, but... Might as well overstay for the Kraken Slayer at this point. They got the dragon, and that's fine. We can give the first dragon, especially with mid and bot lane. Losing so hard. I'm not worried about cleaning that up because the Zed has too much health. Ivern into my blue side. Pretty smart here. So we'll be trading these buffs for now. I'm just getting enough gold to get that Kraken Slayer and then we're resetting. Better to be on the map with that item than taking more of these camps because it's just a bit too slow. 66 CS at 9 minutes, 30 seconds. Not too bad. We're going Kraken Slayer this game. They don't have a lot of HP, so we don't need that Bork. Kraken Slayer gives us 50 AD, 40% attack speed. It's really about that extra movement speed that it gives you, 7%. In combination with the bonus movement speed you get from the form, from the magical footwear, gives you a lot more mobility. And with that mobility, you can use that to get in range for your initial W, whether you're flanking or doing a straight up fight. I got my level 8, and I have to assume that most of my jungle is warded here. Bink. But the river isn't, okay. So into the river here. I can't really help with that. And then we're trying to clean up the vision. Naturally. Naturally. Hello. Schmack Q. That was about that. We could probably overstay and then cheese them here. That Thresh Lantern's a pretty long cooldown. And if I was Jinx, I would want one more wave, you know? If nothing else, we'll just reset. It's so lame where my allies are feeding so hard. Back to the top side. Our goals as we enter this mid game is going to be to get these big ass shutdowns from the Zed. I'm surprised Jinx doesn't have one. And then continuing to get our farm into these plays. But right now I'm over leveled. I'm level 8 to Ivern's level 6. And it's like, it would be awesome if I could spend it. My allies were alive for more than 3 seconds here. That'd be pretty beast. So we know that the Zed is low here. Pretend like I'm walking towards the Void Grubs. But he's not using his shadow, so he's going to have a lot of safety. We're going to have to use our initial 3 Qs to get in range. Auto W, Auto Q, Auto E. That is that. Alright, Ivern. Back to the camps. So that's my play, and now I need to do my camps. I can't skip my camps for any other play. It's worth to do an attempt on Mr. Zed because he has that big ass shutdown. It'd be more consistent if I was to go top lane, for example. But I'm playing my chances here where I have two losing lanes. But I'm not taking egregious chances where I'm skipping all my farm to like attack bot lane right after I attack mid. If I don't stop for my farm, the whole game ends. The play isn't successful. Silas, my man. You sure know how to die. Orn has TP. These fellows are going to be on those Void Grubs, so let's see what we can do here. Q. Q, smite. W. Schmack. 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 E. Q. Ulti. Run. Run. The empowered form looks so beast in this skin, though. This is default chroma as well. Give me some ninja tabby quick. I want to get into Ivern's red side. He's spending too much time top lane here. Or 
Someone's figuring out that Zed is the man. Sucks that he had to learn the hard way. By getting into the Ivern's jungle here, I can get his camps, and I also have a flank on bot lane, so it's not too bad. My lanes are so hard losing, though. Don't worry about carrying this game, just worry, worry about winning the next play, because that's all I got. Got the two camps, check. Enemy bot lane, not here though. And I can't wait around for him, so unfortunately, it's gonna be to the dragon here. The dragon will give me form and we have time to do it too. We're 14 minutes in. It's way easier to do that dragon later in the game with the Kraken Slayer than it is to do it in the early game with a losing bot lane. Ulti, schmack, schmack, schmack. Oh, lucky. Random shutdown. Jinx will be all alone for a couple seconds here. Let's try to exploit it. Fresh does not have that lantern. Flash W, smite, auto Q, schmack, 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 moving, schmack, schmack, Q, schmack. No, the flay. No, he blocks the thing. Oh. <sighs> oh, the E keeps me alive. Flash. Okay, if it works, it works. We're definitely staying on the map here, killing these camps. That was our turn, and that's that. The results may vary. Holy moly. ADCs run that barrier nowadays, and they have just that right amount of tanky, which is so annoying. And that Belvest damage is just not as high early game. At least not without the PTA. Thresh, what are you doing, man? Just getting in range of him here. Get right on top of him and get this. Auto attack him. That's what they don't tell you. W. A. A. Q. E. Move down. God, I could do such an overplay by trying to dive the Jinx here. But I need some help. The Thresh won't be alive, and it's quite the opportunity, man. They see me coming here. Q? It's just not gonna happen. Not like that. <laughs> Alright! Jinx would have had to move way further forward. I guess, is that one worth a chance? I feel like he just walked in and died. Clean up that bot wave. Don't attack here, the Thresh can be here. Use my pop, pop, W. Pop, pop, Q, pop, pop, Q, pop. Don't attack here, I say. Well, she gave us a freebie. Thresh wasn't even walking there. Alright, Bob, we're making it happen. Into the stride breaker. Phage, Tiamat. Through the top side. Clean up whatever camps are left there. Well, let's skip camps right now. We're level 11. Orn is trading with the rumble. Phage gives us HP, Tiamat gives us some AD, that AoE damage. Basically building the Stride Breaker for the stats, it gives you HP, AD, and attack speed. It's a very good mid-game item, and you can curve into the wit's end. Alrighty, so, and of course. Our goal here in this second part of the mid-game is to end the laning phases, so... Just pushing down with the Rumble, since Ivern shows, is an option. There's the Rumble's ulti, but all I have to do is wait it out now. Wait for Orn to push the next top wave. Oh, she mama. I'm gonna try to take some camps as we go here. With all these plants and whatnot, there's a lot to find in the jungle, so... It's worth spending my time on. Don't FF. We can win. Orn ulti. Q. Auto W. Q. Auto E. Nice. Bong. Wow, the coral looks pretty cool too when you pick it up. Stay pushing top and then I'll take Ivern's blue side. They are obliterating our mid lane, but you know, you gotta take some and give some. Hey, Dios. My ADC dies, you know, there's not gonna be any stopping it, even if I was mid lane. You gotta attack something else as the enemy is attacking what they can. Let's reset. Holy moly. 
As we enter the mid game, it's gonna be if I kill Jinx and don't die myself, so wish me luck. Let's clear the camps down towards dragons. Stridebreaker giving us 50 AD, 30% attack speed, 450 HP, and that active. That is extra damage and slows the enemy. As we get on top of them, gives us an extra tool to land our W. Especially into the key targets like that Jinx. Whoa, Jinx in the top lane. Don't mind if I do. Now this is a risk to skip the camps, but she's in such a weird position. Sweeper, and I'm going for the flank. There we go. She's got a long way to run. That orange's gonna take no damage. Walk right into her. Q, stride breaker. Auto, 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 E. That's a big throw. That's such a random big throw from her. We know that Ivern doesn't have blue side camps, so I'm just gonna go back to my camps here and farm down. We can actually win the dragon fight since they have no ADC. Attack speed from that stride breaker helping us clear as well. Come on, boys, let's fight. We can do this as a team. Strike Breaker. Q. Q. Oh. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Ay, 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 E. Flash. Auto. Ulti. Ah, ulti. Bong. Q. 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 Oh, I'm dead. Oh, if I queued up. Well, oh, Bob, I took three. I tanked 3,400 damage. A bit sloppy, I'll give you that, but my HP pool is 2,200, so that was pretty good to tank an extra thousand damage. That's that Conquer and that's that E, but Christ, that's the enemy team's damage. Get in, you know, let's do it like this. Let's do Recurve Bow and then the Null Magic like that. So now we have some Magic Resist and some Armor as well as a lot of HP, and we get even more HP when we're in form. We're level 13, so we have our E-Max as well. And now, it's if we win the mid-game fights, we win the game. If we lose them, we lose. It's that simple. So you want to be involved in way more fights in the mid-game, rather than farming as much. Yeah, there we go. Kill their ADC, start a Baron, don't mind if I do. They just spent so many of their ultis too, you would hope. Waiting for him to approach, really. We have 6k on the Baron. Might as well finish here. Q, smite, ulti! Playing front to back, but there's no way that we can dive in just yet, so holding my ground. As my team backs off, so do I. Super bad. Okay. Welp, that's the Baron. That gives me the empowered form, and now I would love to split push. With how weak my team is, a split push will allow me to go to like level 16. Which is another way for me to carry. Hmm. Trying to sneak into this bush if I can. So much for that. If I attack the rumble here, he has Thresh and Zed behind him, so I'm gonna clear this wave. Oh! Thresh and Zed showed. Sweeper. No noobs in this bush? Okay. This is why I want to split push. I build up the funny minions. That looks super cool with the Baron buff. Look at that. Nice, and they're all grouped bot side. Nice, and we find the Ivern. Q. Pup, pup, Q, pup, 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 E. W. Auto, Q, Q. Nice. Get back to the minions here. Give them that Baron buff. Nice, and that's an easy pick. Kill the wave first, and then keep pushing. Run! Q, W, pop, 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 Q, E. I'm gonna die there, but deal as much damage as I can. Once the big man Zed gets on top of me with that ulti, it's it's done. But it's okay, we got the turret, we got some gold, and then we can go back and farm. Remember, we, we slimed that Baron, so it's whatever. Alright, Affilios, alright. Wits end, hot dog. Now here's where we turn the tides, man. With this death stance, cloth armor. And honestly, just give me another cloth armor. Don't mind if I do. Wits End gives us that extra DPS we need in the mid game. So it's a huge completion compared to having just the components. And now Death Dance is going to give us a survivability. With Wits End giving us that magic damage on hit, magic resist, a lot of attack speed, and also tenacity. 
to the top side. It gives me an, a just a super unfair 1v1 against Rumble as well. Oh, no raptors? Rumble, big man. I'm gonna have to kick your ass. We got that blue smite, so we have a lot of movement speed. Nice, and he's trying to run away. Q. Q. Smite. Stripe Baker. Get out of that ulti. Alrighty, that's fine. We got his ulti and we'll heal off the camps. There's that level 15. Remember where I said split pushing will give me those levels? So now I just want to kind of play sideline here. That's left or right side mid. And then try to play around the vision. Oh, whoops. Or, to, or wait for the enemy to attack and then punish them. Not looking to do my own attack, not without form. Not without having any sort of position, my team's doing nothing. We can do a front to back QQW with our stride breaker, but it's not ideal. Because everything's going to be awarded like this. A single ward pike, that's what we're looking for, big man. Okay. No zonias in this guy, but. Bob, I can't get in there, it's impossible. No CC is landing on anyone important, so. Suppose I found myself topside here. That's so weird. It should be Orn. Oh god, not this guy. It should be Orn, Ulting, Silas, and like Pike comboing their CC. And whoever's in front, and then we can play. Rumble doesn't even have Zonias, and he's like peeling everyone. The dragon's not super important, but winning the fight is. Top lane, defend that turret, and probably reset. Well, that's a shame. Mr. Zed. Got level 16, so that will give us the most amount of damage, HP, and then movement speed from our empowered form. And we got that level 16, and with the Baron coming up, if we win that next fight, we can win. So let's reset, spend our gold, and get in position around that Baron. Totally ignoring the bot side of the map now. Steel Sigil pickaxe to the top side. Steel Sigil gives us 30 armor, which isn't too bad. Got 160 armor. Hopefully that helps us against Infinity Edge Jinx. Come on, man! What's the deal? Having no vision is so lame. Welp, wish me luck on the Baron Steel. Nothing else is happening, man. Just like in the early game, if you're not doing anything here, if you're not farming and whatnot, it's just so bad. Engage onto Thresh. Striker, your W, pop, 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 E. Get out of that damage. Get that form. See if they're on Baron, boys. 4K on that bad boy. Q. Q. Oh. Unlucky. Oh, yeah. Couple Jinx autos almost taking me out. Now where they have Baron, the onus is on them to push. Nice, and Jinx is going topside. Try to punish that. Schleiming on through here, trying to avoid all the vision that I can. Because if I find a 1v1 with Jinx, I definitely win. If using Stripebreaker. Pop, 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 E. W. Q. Nice, lucky. Jinx really giving us the game here, God bless. The key thing here is that I'm seeing the ADC in a side lane. ADCs aren't allowed to be in the side lane. And then we go there and punish it. 
everyone else is mid right now, so I might even be able to crash the wave here and push. We have Ivern backing, but we can get some damage here. Anything I can get in this game. The whole turret? Don't mind if I do. Eh, Thresh is behind me. Tripebreaker. Q down. Nice. Movement speed from the blue smite, and I'm out of there. <laughs> Come on, Master Chief, let's get the fuck out of here. Slime, slime, slime. All the way back to the camp, so we do not care. I have a little bit of downtime, so I think I can clear my red side before I reset. Nice, they would have walked all the way up there. Oh, I lost my form. This guy's in my raptors. Come on, guys, we can kill him. And he's gone. Let's reset. We got the Death Stance. Now, the Death Stance is very important against that Jinx and Zed because it gives me armor and it makes it where I ignore some of the damage that they deal temporarily. And then because of that, I can actually live as I go in. Combo that with our level 17 and whatnot. And that gives us our tankiness. And if we play the fight right, then we have good chances to win. Building into Terminus last, that gives me a lot of damage, just like the Wits End. Mr. Zed. And he's just going that way. JK. How much to really do about that? I'm trying to hit level 18. We really shouldn't fight mid lane, guys. Our ADC just random died, okay? Fighting mid lane. I really have to defend mid lane though. They'll be able to push and end the game here. You smite W. Up, 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 up. Q. Q. Splash. Auto, auto, auto. Q. E. Up, up, up. Q. Ulti. Oh, I did what I could, but holy moly. Someone said, upload a Belveth game that goes late. Well, this is what it looks like, man. <laughs> you have about a 20% chance to bring it all around in solo carry, but not in games like this. Final score, 9-3-7. and seven. It is what it is. Kraken Slayer dealing 3,000 and Whitson dealing 900. How do I win when my allies are feeding? Well, sometimes you can carry, but if they're around this sort of like 10 death mark, it's over. It's no big deal. Final damage dealt 21,000 already. Conqueror dealing 900. And Coupe de Gras dealing 600. Was there ever a point to really do the shebang here? Maybe? I would have had to fight so much more often though. Really speed up the process here. I ran a sort of slower gambit because it would give me more levels. It would give us a better chance because Aphilios has very good scaling and so does Orn. But despite his scaling, the mistakes were still made by both mid and the support. So our, the mid game just fell apart into the late game. And then that's GG. Despite me being personally strong on Belveth. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next game.